Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Bridget Shanahan. The man accused of killing his five-month-old daughter and another man entered a not guilty plea in court today. Ruben Garcia is also facing charges for stabbing his baby's mother and her new boyfriend last month. He waived his right to a preliminary hearing today and is expected back in court later this month. Today, Culver's of West Milwaukee will donate 10% of all sales to help with funeral and medical costs for the baby's mother. Alexia Daly is still recovering from a number of stab wounds, but plans to continue studying to become a nurse. The Milwaukee County Sheriff is taking action against the county in an effort to hire more deputies. A new lawsuit filed by Sheriff David Clark and the Deputy Sheriff's Association claims the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office is at critical emergency state. The suit claims the excessive overtime the deputies are working is causing staff to become physically and emotionally fatigued, placing deputies and the public at risk. County Executive Chris Abley has previously said that the sheriff can hire more deputies if he makes cuts elsewhere. Abley's office has not commented on the lawsuit. Leftover piles of snow are becoming a hazard for drivers and pedestrians in some spots. The principal at Atwood Elementary in Shorewood is taking extra safety precautions for her students by making sure that the snow piles near the school and on the playground are kept to a minimum. She also says crossing guards play an important role. The cars, it's a concern because people do not drive as you know, they're in a hurry, it's still winter, and it's harder to get around. So we do have a crossing out out here. Because Shorewood is a walking community, the principal says crews also look for ice patches around the building. Pro Golf is returning to Milwaukee this summer. Potawatomi Hotel and Casino is sponsoring a stop on the Symmetra Tour. It's a ladies' golf tour that feeds into the LPGA. It will be held at Brown Deer Park Golf Course. You may remember, of course, Brown Deer hosted a PGA Tour stop for years, but that run ended back in 2009. Well, the snowfall that we had on Tuesday created headaches for the evening commute with anywhere from two to three plus inches of snow across the area. And then the clouds overnight kept us into the teens. Winchells were in the single digits above zero. Here's some snow totals. Burlington at 3.8, Ripon at two and a half. Williams Bay at two, officially in Milwaukee, and reported at an inch and a half of snow. Brown Deer was at one, Elkhorn at 1.8. That fluffy light snow falling just straight down as the winds were calm last night. We continue with the flurries and the cloud cover this morning, but now as we're going through the afternoon, getting a little bit of clearing as those clouds are beginning to thin out. And believe it or not, we missed out on a snow event passed just to our south. That's why we have these lingering clouds and flurries, but accumulating snow now from southern Iowa, northern Missouri into north and central portions of Chicago and Indiana, or I should say Illinois. For us, just the clouds that look at the clearing back off to the west. This is not good. We really don't want the clearing for overnight tonight. We want those clouds to stick around and act as a blanket like they did this morning when temperatures were in the teens. We haven't warmed up much because of the cloud cover and those northwesterly winds. 19 in Port Washington, a northwest wind almost at 20 miles per hour, dropping those wind chills into the single digits. It's 15 in Beaver Dam, 17 in Burlington, and 18 in Kenosha. Here are the wind speeds out of the northwest between 10 and 20 miles per hour, and the wind chills, as I mentioned, in the single digits. At least everyone's above zero, barely. It feels like one in Sheboygan and Green Lake, three in Waukesha, and six in Racine. By morning, wind chills well below zero. In fact, probably after seven or eight o'clock, we'll start to see wind chills well below zero. Very cold air has just been building and expanding across Canada and Alaska for the past several weeks and it's starting to work its way down. And we're going to get a little taste of that tonight. It's just a one night cold snap as it'll retreat back to the north, but this air mass is just sitting here and ready to break and something's going to have to happen eventually before we can make a nice warm up around here. Uh, flurries this morning and now some afternoon sunshine. Hopeful, not a lot of it, but still plenty of clouds. 20 degrees with wind chills near zero tonight. Four below. Eight below inland, wind chills to 20 below, and for uh, tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, but a high of only 14. These are your low temperatures tonight, the actual low temperatures. No, not even we're close to a record, but four below in Milwaukee, five below from West Bend to Green Lake and Fond du Lac to seven below Whitewater and down towards Burlington. The forecast map, the systems are pushing out of here. That's why we're getting some clearing and high pressure settling in behind it. Lighter winds for the next couple of days, but it is only a one day cold snap as southerly winds on the back side of it will start to bring some warmer temperatures. So for today, a uh, temperature of 20 degrees, mostly cloudy, a little bit of sunshine this afternoon, and then clearing overnight tonight, and that's bad news. <laughs> we'll have four below uh, here in Milwaukee, eight below inland with wind chills approaching 20 below zero. That's seven day forecast, 14 tomorrow after that four below reading, eight degrees on Friday morning, wind chills will be below zero once again, and then a rapid warm up, 28 for Friday, 32 for Saturday with rain, snow mix, and light snow on Sunday, and 28.